Greetings, sorry to bother you, me again. Just getting ready for the Monster Wind Fest with the new turbine and I wanted to show you how we'll be uh, relieving the batteries of all the power that it's gonna make. So this is a three kilowatt inverter. I've never tried it at three kilowatt, <coughs> excuse me, but it's run for hours and hours and hours on one kilowatt. And basically what will happen is the batteries, one second. We've only ended up with two batteries for now and they're gonna be in series, so essentially, 24 volts that one's at seven that one's at six and a half so uh, those two together equal 21.63 also we're mainly talking about the inverter but i'm going to be running this for the time being i'm going to be running this controller for the time being just to see how it goes we can always uh, move on to the rectifier if need be so what will happen is the turbine all being well will start pumping out uh, 26 volts and at that time, the inverter should burst into life. I've, this power switch has never worked. It doesn't do anything. It's on all the time, but it'll only come into life when you've got a good source of power, which the turbine's gonna be chucking out a lot of power. And then each one of these lights, uh, especially when they have a bulb in, will draw 500 watts. Uh, it's, some of them it says 400 watts, but I found it to be more like 500. Yeah. That says 500. So with two of them simply plugged into the front, don't have to do anything else, what will happen is as soon as 26, 27 volts comes, the inverter will switch on and whatever's plugged in, whether it's one of these lights or two, will immediately come on. That will cause a massive power drain. The voltage will drop and the inverter will probably switch itself off, which is fine because then what happens at 26, 27 volts, the inverter will switch itself on again, drain all the power, and then it's just a constant process. But I have left this running doing that for over 12 hours, and it's no problem. I've got some very hefty uh, jump leads to go on. They're about six feet long, so that's how we're gonna be taking out all the juice, and the wind's just started howling right on time. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say, but this inverter will be plugged into the two batteries via the cable ends, and then that is how we'll be getting rid of all the power. And that brake will still come on at 28 volts, so it's all about timing really. We're just gonna have to see how it works. So when my son gets around here, it's gonna get put up, and from then on, uh, it'll be running like this with the new gear on. So I'll do a live, if it starts turning, I'll do a live stream and hopefully it'll start making some juice. Uh, I do have one of these for the inverter, but it's a pointless load of crap really. I've dropped something on it, I don't know if the screen's cracked, but if we get some uh, juice coming in, I'll just uh, show you what it looks like. It looks pretty cool when it's working, but I've not found it to be very reliable. It's re The inverter's reliable in one way and unreliable in another, I can't really explain it, but, no. but anyway, so that's good to go. Next time you see it, it'll be uh, disco time. Sweet. I'm just going to reset the meter. There you go. Sweet, so I don't have to be watching it to see if it, it's going or not. It seems like it's having a go. Obviously, if the smaller gear was on now, you see the trees moving about a bit, that thing would be absolutely flying. But how much wind it's going to take to well that lo that looks good. That looks good. Is it going to get going? It's thinking about it. Oh, sorry, getting a bit excited here. Well, it's going. It is going. I haven't seen it. Let's leave it on, tipping on the meter. See if we can catch the first bit of juice it makes. Come on, buddy. It's got to hit that. Ooh, it's probably sitting about 12 at the minute. Right, anyway, when it starts making power, I'll put a live stream up. But the cables haven't even been done up properly on the tower, so it is wobbling about a bit.
So yeah, it is going to take some wind to make some power, but there's supposed to be plenty of wind coming. So anyway, we'll finish sorting the tower out and then we'll be back. There you go, that's the first bit. Whoa, straight up to 200 watts. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'll see you in a live stream very soon. Yo, check out how fast the motor's going round. That is exactly working as intended. It does sound a little bit more chainy, but that is perhaps to be expected. Anyway, I'll keep you posted, but so far so good. The wind's saying 15 miles an hour at the minute, which feels about right. Hopefully if we can get it up to 20, we'll get making some good power. But yeah, you can see that flashing, how fast the motor's actually traveling. Awesome, my friends, that is an awesome moment. I'll see you soon.